So, like we were talking about the swing arm inside, this is the other side of that. There's two more heim joints here. And um, these heim joints, uh, we use these just because they're a fairly strong connection. These are hardened steel, all that kind of stuff. Um, but these are what the two pins go through up, up here and down here. And this allows the trailer to pivot this way on the swing arm. And then of course the swing arm can pivot like this. And so it's kind of, a, and that's an odd hitch design, um, but it's pretty common with single wheel trailers. So this is what we're using. Um, on the front, we used fairly thick uh, uh, rectangular tubing, and this is welded onto thinner rectangular tubing and square tubing throughout the rest of the trailer. If we look at the rest of the trailer, um, we use thicker tubing here and thicker tubing on the bottom. Um, we can actually pull this, these out real quick just to see how it looks on the inside without our gear in here. Of course, that's how our gear looks in there. But if you look down in here, there's cross braces and rectangular tubing all the way throughout the frame, which makes up the bottom of the trailer. So this part will be the bottom, and of course on here will be aluminum sheeting, uh, double plated for strength, and the sheeting is .040 sheeting, and it's painted, so it's what they use on um, like fish houses and things like that. Um, so the trailer itself is two feet wide, outside to outside, um, and so the inside is 22 inches, which should leave us enough room, and for height, total height to here, to the bottom of the trailer, which sits about eight inches off the ground, is 30 inches. So this height's about 38 inches, which is generally a little taller than a counter pipe that you'd have in your house uh, but it's really nice for being able to cook and work on and of course there'll be a lid in here so to access this open bay there'll be one big lid that kind of comes up like this and comes back like that it's got a latch all that kind of stuff eventually and um, we'll be able to work on top of that or even put solar panels or whatever else we can think of to put in here um, obviously this isn't finished this will get gusseting all the way down here and here um, for strength and uh, it'll get a couple like a cross brace here and a few little other pieces in there Just to strengthen this whole front piece and this hitch up uh, if you come to the back This is not the wheel we'll be using this is a front wheel off our spare parts bike What we'll be using is a 17 inch wheel um, off the parts bike But basically this is how it'll sit we'll have a swing arm that comes out to here and we'll have the shock from Brittany's old shock on her bike Sitting either in the middle or on the side. We haven't quite decided yet and that'll kind of come somewhere up in here. And so this whole swing arm will be able to pivot up. And so the wheel, as it, as it suspends, it'll kind of go like this. Very similar to that motion. And so the goal is that this has its own suspension. So the front is suspended via the bike. This is suspended via this suspension. And this whole trailer should be able to take fairly large bumps and washboard roads and everything else. Um, it's a single wheel trailer. So you can see, obviously, it's close to the middle. Um, but this is basically how it'll look and um, we have curves cut in. Uh, top is more for looks than anything. The bottom is actually because as you turn your motorcycle, I won't move the wheel here, but as you lean your motorcycle over into a curve, this whole thing is gonna essentially lean just like this into a curve. So if you're going on a left hand, left hand curve, this whole thing will lean with your bike just like that. And you can see, if we do that, you can see this this angle comes into play because it won't scrape on anything, and if it does, it's a little bit smoother at least. Um, and of course, there's angles on the front, and it's flat on the back. This whole thing will get skinned with aluminum, um, probably single layer on the sides and uh, back, and then uh, double layer on the top for strength, double layer on the bottom for strength. And uh, that's our trailer so far. It's tack welded together. It's not even close to done. We're probably maybe halfway. The hard stuff's to come. So. Uh, yeah, that's our trailer so far.